Hello, today I'm going to share with you more details about ways to be accepted into medical school with a high MCAT score, but a low GPA. Are you interested in applying to medical school, but you have a lower GPA, ranging from a 3.0 maybe to a 3.1? but you have achieved an excellent MCAT score? Well, let's talk about some ways to use that to your advantage and continue to pursue a medical degree. My name is Dr. Ava. I'm an internal medicine hospitalist who just like you was more often curious about the medical journey and what to expect from medical school. Navigating through unknown territory can be difficult, which is why I'm here to help guide you through your medical journey. So I personally understand the acceptance process and I have the experience to help you explore alternative ways to get into medical school with a less than perfect GPA supported by an impressive MCAT score. So maintaining a perfect GPA can be challenging with our busy lifestyle. Things come up, work, family distract us from our studies and sometimes it can be difficult to have the necessary work life, life balance to perform our best. Students cannot always maintain a GPA of 4.0 and high MCAT scores. In fact, it is very, very common. Med schools accept students with a low GPA every single year. So how did they do it? Were their parents on the admission committee? Absolutely not. There are ways to get into medical school with a lower GPA when using a smart application strategy. Your grade point average helps to paint a picture of your time as an undergraduate student. However, admission panels are going to look at a broader picture, not just raw numbers. They're looking to see if you are reliable, can you handle medical school, will you work hard to get the best grades, and ultimately, will you become one of the best doctors in this field? One of the essentials is that you study diligently for the MCAT exam and aim to achieve a high score Having an MCAT score in the range of 514 to 517 will definitely increase your acceptance rate to 41.7%, even with a 3.0 to 3.1 GPA. For example, a student who has a 3.4 GPA, which will be considered a low GPA by pre-med standards, but has a 519 MCAT, has a decent chance of getting into an allopathic medical school. That is mainly because a 3.4 is not a terrible GPA, and 519 is in the 99th percentile, and only 0.4% of test takers achieve that score. If your GPA is lower than a 3.0, you may need to look into engaging in a post-bac, pre-med program, adding relevant courses to your schedule, or it may be necessary to retake classes with low grades. On the flip side, Having a high GPA does not make up for a low MCAT. The highest possible MCAT score is a 528 with a 132 in each of the four sections. So let's dive a little bit deeper. For example, even if you have a 4.0 GPA, if your MCAT score is say 492, you will have a very difficult time getting into a school. Admission committees always look at GPA and MCAT score together. However, a high MCAT score of 514 to 518 only may not make up for a GPA below 3.2. That is why it is also very important for you to have backup information of why your GPA was considered low in the first place. While college admission boards focus on above average GPAs and high MCAT scores, they still recognize students' extracurricular activities, clinical experiences, for example. If you can dream it, you can definitely achieve it. If you dream about becoming a medical professional, you can do it. Do not let obstacles like having a low GPA stand in your way. There are many alternatives to gain acceptance if you work diligently to achieve academic success. My advice is to work towards being a well-rounded student with not just good grades, but also a colorful background filled with real life experiences, humanitarian work, and upward trends. Additionally, acing your MCAT exam is crucial to improve your acceptance odds with a less than perfect GPA. 
If you want something more personalized for you in a chronological and organized way with my one-on-one -on -one support, I have an online mentorship live with me, you and I together for a whole hour with me teaching you step-by-step -step on how you can successfully get into medical school still in this year. Click on the link below to learn more. I hope that my personal knowledge will help to guide you to learn more about medical school acceptance and the journey. See you next time.